Hi, I'm Mike M. from Dallas-Fort Worth area in Texas. Um, I just took Tony's 30 Days to Play Challenge. I'm not a beginner, but I've been off and on, mostly off, for years, uh, and definitely stuck in a rut. Many years I never even touched it. Um, I couldn't even tell you the names, the chords, most of the chords and the techniques especially. I was pretty limited on the breadth of what I could play in many ways, and I had little, if any, discipline to what I did, and in a word, pretty sloppy. Now, I'm quickly learning what I've been doing, what I've been doing right and wrong, what it's called, uh, importantly, how to do it well and make it sound better. And I start my practice regimen now with uh, stretching and playing scales to limber up, and that's made a huge difference. Um, so the big win for me, basics of form, posture, stretching, warm-ups, and positions, everything to build that muscle memory and strengthening my foundation, and I'm very excited about where I am on the journey thanks to Tony's program. Um, in the 30-day challenge, Tony showed us the chord progressions for G, C, and D. He added E minor and A minor and noted that we'll encounter those very frequently on our journey because they're very common chords, and he's so absolutely right. Um, I've been using them for years, albeit all not that well, um, and because of the limited scope of my exposure and experience on guitar, way too bound to doing the same things over and over and over. So I still play those songs, especially when I'm warming up, but what Tony showed us is kind of like breathing new life into the same chords, and it brings out more of the musicality I wanted in the first place. So um, I'm playing them with improved strumming patterns, more interesting transitions, incorporating better hammer-ons and pull-offs, etc., into what I do. So to that end, and to bear out what Tony said, um, about the versatility of these really common chords and strumming patterns. Um, this is a medley of, of three tunes that I put together um, that I hope you'll see, even though they use the same chords and transitions, have distinctively different moods and sounds, and all have a different strumming pattern and speed. So as Tony says, here goes nothing. Thanks again for the opportunity to share and great enjoy your journey.